thank you and thank you for my time and um chairman lambert if you would just give me just a second uh, i know i'm here to talk about sovereignty issues but i just got to say this uh from a guy that's from oklahoma from a guy that um i've been in the plumbing industry my entire life to hear my colleagues from the opposite side bring up this scare tactic about lighting tap water on fire what a load of crap I, i'm just going to say it as plain as that and it's shameful that they use such scare tactics um it's funny how people comment on things that they don't have the no offense but a, a clue uh and so I, i'm just I, I know that's stepping away but chairman sorry how to get that off my chest i feel better now uh so anyways uh my staff is probably just really upset at me right now <laughs> and i may not be invited back to this committee <laughs> All right. Uh, anyways, Chairman uh, Lamborn, thank you for letting me uh, join the subcommittee today. I applaud Representative Flores for his work on this legislation. In Oklahoma, we know a thing or two about fracking technology. We have been safely and effectively fracking since 1949. In fact, we have 193,000 current active wells in our state. As a member of the Cherokee Nation and someone who advocates for our tribes, I do have some concerns with this bill in its current form. In this bill as written, Indian land is not addressed. This administration will continue to wrongly treat Indian land like public land. When it comes to federal Indian policy, when we use the term Indian land, what we mean is land held in trust for our tribes. Put it simpler terms, Indians own this land. The public does not. In this proposed hydraulic fracking rule, however, the administration treats Indian lands as though they're held for the benefit of the public as well as Indian beneficiaries. This is contrary to the law. Unless Congress steps in, these actions by this administration will proceed to harm Indian tribes. Treating tribal land as public land is insulting and a clear violation of the agreement between our sovereign nations. It is my hope that as this bill continues to work its way through the committee process that my colleagues will work together to tighten up this proposal so we can ensure the sovereignty of our nations is respected. Mr. Chairman, I yield back.